Today we are going to learn about ancient Egypt. This is a video suggestion by Olivia, who's six years old from Waco, Texas. Thanks, Olivia. What a great idea. Ancient Egypt was one of the first civilizations. It became one of the most powerful civilizations in the ancient world, and it still fascinates people today. Now you might be wondering, what is a civilization? A civilization is an advanced society with lots of structure and organization. It has government, religion, writing, and the arts. You're living in a civilization right now. I know, my goodness. You're in a civilization right now. Isn't that awesome? And ancient Egypt was one of the first civilizations ever. Now, you might be wondering, where was ancient Egypt? Well, ancient Egypt and current day Egypt as well is located in the northeastern part of of Africa. If you remember your continents, we have a continents video. If you remember your continents, the continent of Africa, it's in the northern part and it's in the eastern corner. That's where Egypt is. You can see it right here. Now here's an interesting fact you might not know, but all of the early civilizations were near rivers. Look at this river. All of the early civilizations were near rivers. Now why do you think they were near rivers. Why would you build a civilization around a river? Why do you think? Yeah, because of the water. You need the water for the crops and for drinking. Water is life. And in some of these climates, they really needed to be near that water in order to survive. And so all of the early civilizations were near rivers. Ancient Egypt was no different and was near the Nile River. Now look at this picture of where ancient Egypt was. Where do you think the Nile River is? It's kind of interesting because when you have water, it helps plants grow. What do you notice? Do you see a line, especially on the bottom? Near the bottom from the top, you see lots of green on the top, and then you see a line of green. Why do you think that is? Yeah, the Nile River is watering all those plants, and that trail is the Nile River. The Nile River is actually in that upper part as well with all that green, but it's interesting, the lower you go into Egypt, what's neat is you can actually see the trail of the river just by looking at the plants. There it is. There's, there's the Nile, and it still helps people today. This water made it possible for ancient Egypt to even exist as a civilization. Yeah, the Nile River. Can you say that with us? Say Nile River. No, oh, that, that wasn't loud enough. Come on. There. Okay, say Nile River. Yeah, the Nile, the Nile. When you think Nile River, think, oh my goodness, that's that's what allowed ancient Egypt to be a great civilization, the Nile River. Wow, the Nile. <laughs> Do you mind? I mean, I, I already told you, we're going to talk about you, okay? It's about ancient Egypt. we got to talk about mummies. All right, we're still talking about the Nile. This is, this is, you could have waited your turn, you know? All right, just, just get back in your case. Do whatever you like to do. Okay, now you're just being creepy, okay? This is, this is for kids, all right? You, you need to behave or you're just not going to be on this one, okay? You're just not, and if you're not on this one, listen, we don't have mummies on our other videos. This is your one shot. You need to behave. Oh, wow. Um, oh, man. I didn't know you were going to be so sensitive. I didn't know that you were, I didn't know you had feelings. You know, you're a mummy. I just, I didn't, I didn't know. Listen, all right, you can, you can be in it. You can be in it, all right? Just, just no more of this crying stuff, okay? You're, you're in it, okay? You're going to be in it, all right? We can, we, let's just, let's just move forward, all right? Okay, good. Happy? All right, awesome. Now here's some things you may already know about ancient Egypt. This is part of what made ancient Egypt so famous. What are these? 
you know what these are called? Yeah, they're called pyramids. It's pretty cool that even though they were built so long ago, they're still standing today. The pyramids were used as tombs. When someone important in the society died, they might be placed in a pyramid. They would preserve people's bodies through a process called mummification. Mummies have been found all around the world, but ancient Egypt has become very famous for their mummies. And they didn't just mummify people. In fact, it was fairly common to mummify cats. Cats in this culture were actually seen as sacred and as holy, and so they wanted to preserve those cats. And so sometimes they would actually mummify cats. Don't worry, Mr. Whiskers, okay? This is not ancient Egypt. We're never going to mummify you, okay? So just go back to your nap. You know, just relax, okay? Don't worry. That's not something we do. We love you, but we don't think you're sacred, okay? Go to sleep. Go to sleep, Mr. Whiskers. The ruler of ancient Egypt was called the Pharaoh. The pharaoh was the political and religious ruler of ancient Egypt. This means the pharaoh was in charge of everything in every aspect of life and was often thought of as a god. And so whatever the pharaoh said was going to happen. It was huge. And the pharaoh definitely was going to be put in one of the pyramids, which were the tombs for the most important people. Yeah, Mr. Pharaoh, they are definitely going to mummify you. No doubt. No, no doubt. Ancient Egypt, one of the first civilizations ever. We hope you enjoyed it. We hope you learned some new things. And we would love to see you next video. Thanks for watching.